So what do you do? What's Micah's solution here? Commit yourself totally to hope in God. What does he say? I watch in hope for the Lord. It's one thing to watch out, and it's one thing to hope. It's another thing to entirely to train your sight, to train your forward-looking, to train your spiritual sight in God's hope. Can you train what you think about tomorrow in hope? Can you train what you think about your future or your retirement in God's hope? Can you train what you think about your kids and your family and the next generation in hope? Can you train it in God's hope? Right? Hope in God. Every, everyone else in Micah's life was committed to hope in food or money or rain or the government or their military or an ally who might or might not help them or their own hard work and their own muscle. But Micah is making a radical statement here. The only place that forward-looking hope should truly be is in God. You know, when I think about my world and the political and medical upheaval and the starvation and the dictatorships, my hope is only in you, my God. I think about my country, the divisiveness, the anger, the godlessness, and my hope is only in you, my God. I think about my life, my family, and my future, my uncertain elderly years, my kids, and my hope is in you, my God. I think about my week this week. Think about that for a second, the tasks you have to do, those, those I want to do, those that will come up that I'm not prepared for, the people that in my own strength I'll only let down. My hope is in you, my God. Micah's steps to breakthrough. First one is commit yourself totally to hope in God. 100% don't change the channel. 